G'day viewers, Prospector Pete here. Uh, so I was making a video and when it came time to edit and make the video and etc. Uh, the, the intro to this particular video for some reason wouldn't play. There was uh, a problem with that particular file. I have no idea what happened. So basically I've just got to make this new intro. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, show you the type of boards that I believe are fully gold plated under the mask. Uh, I've done a video before showing you how to remove the mask from the mouse pads on laptops, but there are other boards too that are con uh, solid gold plating underneath the mask. Um, it's pretty hard to tell by looking at them. I think I've got it sussed. So what I've done is I've gathered up a pile of boards that I think will be gold plated under the mask. And I'm going to test them basically. I'm going to try and remove the mask and see if I'm right. Um, what I had done in the intro was showing you the type of boards and which ones I think they are. So I'm just going to have to give you a rundown because I've gone past that stage now. So there's boards that are, uh, have a matte black finish on them. They're not glossy. Uh, they, I think, I'm pretty sure, usually end up being gold-plated underneath. All gold-plated. Uh, then there's the brown boards. Some brown boards seem to be, from my experience, gold-plated under the mask. Um, so these boards generally come from laptops, uh, mostly from iPads, uh, tablets, and a lot of cell phones, uh, especially smartphones. They tend to have the matte black finish ones and some of the brown ones. Um, anyway, you'll see the boards now when I cut to the second frame, but as I was saying, I just had to do a new intro. So... I'll cut through now to the second frame, which is where I'm starting to treat them. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so upon viewing the second frame, I realized that I hadn't explained what I'm doing. So the first stage is to soak these boards in hydrochloric acid to remove any solder and any unwanted parts that I missed with the heat gun, like maybe a couple of MLCCs, etc. Um, then they go from the hydrochloric acid into the caustic soda bath. So what you'll see in the next frame is where I'm soaking them in hydrochloric acid. Now, anybody who knows me, knows my videos, would know that I always reuse my acids and make sure that they're used until they're depleted. I don't waste a drop. So in the second frame, which uh, you won't see because the first frame, the intro was where I started this. I was using my used, used uh, HCL solution. I have a container where I pour my used HCL into and I, and I use that to soak these boards. I put them on a medium heat. You don't need to boil it. Just a medium heat's fine. You don't even need to heat hydrochloric acid in order for it to take solder off. But all acids work better with heat. Um, and I wanted to do a good job, make sure I get it all. So I just put it on for about an hour on some medium heat. And I would normally just pour that back into the bottle once it's finished and cooled down. However, the next video that I'm making is also going to take use of the HCL. So uh, once these boards come out of solution, they get rinsed off. And I'll be doing the next video with that hydrochloric acid before I originally re return it back to the bottle again. Hope that makes sense. So these have all had over an hour in here. And I can see there's no solder left on any of them. I've been stirring them around, moving them around, making sure they all get acid. They're all completely free of solder. 
and so now I'm just going to let the acid cool down because it's too hot put in a bottle or melt the bottle once it cools down I'll pour this back in my used HCL bottle because there's still plenty of life in it yet I would know if it's uh, depleted because I would see solder and everything's completely clean so it's getting late now I'll have to just turn this off and finish it tomorrow so tomorrow's plan is to drain off the HCL I've got a large beaker there ready which I'm going to put water in and I'm going to drop these in there to rinse them as I take them out and then pour all the HCL back into the bottle again and then I'll need this dish for the next process so I'll carry on tomorrow okay so I've taken all the boards out and I'm about to put some just plain water in there to rinse these off and then I'll pour the water out and get ready for the next step so in here I've got water and sodium hydroxide drain cleaner otherwise known as caustic soda or lye I don't know the exact quantity that you've got to put in doesn't really matter I suppose I've just poured half this container in and this is a 500 gram container probably too much but I've got plenty of it so it doesn't matter so you've got to be careful with the stuff always wear gloves um, and I suppose if there's a risk of it splashing up at your face you should have glum glasses, safety glasses or a visor um, I'm pretty careful with it I don't like splashing it on the clothes and then wearing holes in the clothes so I'm not going to be splashing it around but I'm still putting gloves on because as the name suggests caustic soda you know it's, it's not some good stuff to play with it's uh, quite nasty so make sure the gloves are all the way up there's no holes I've just used this one and there's no holes in it um, I do have it heating up at the moment uh, just a medium heat doesn't need to be very hot so while it's heating up I'll do this and uh, it takes longer when it's cold if you don't have a heat source I guess you can still do this but it will take a lot longer uh, they start getting stripped quite easily when they're warmed up so I'm not going to overfill the pan I'm just going to lay them in and make sure there's a space between them all because of my back I'll be sitting down doing this and just taking my time that'll do for now I'll let those work I've only got this pile to do so what I've got is a toothbrush an old toothbrush uh, just pick it up, gently even push it under the water and scrub it, turn it around, make sure it's all clean. So when uh, I'll give it a chance to eat some of it off and I'll come back to you. Well guys, uh, just from I thought that corning ware was about the only thing that could handle the heat on a hot plate, I was wrong because uh, Corningware dish just gave up the ghost. Gave me a hell of a fright. I was sitting there and all of a sudden, bang, exploded. And my caustic soda has gone everywhere. All over the bench, all over the hot plate. Wouldn't be surprised if the hot plate's no good now. So I've got a bit of cleanup to do. Just that I'll show you that even Corningware can break on heat. Okay, I'll try this again. I, uh, I've only got a smaller dish now, so it's going to take a bit longer. Luckily, when all the solution went all through the hot plate, the safety switch in the meter box tripped, so it didn't cause a problem here. I didn't get electrocuted. I don't know if this one's going to do the same thing or not. I'm just going to let it go. I had this go, this dial goes from one to five, and I had it just under four. This time I've got it just under three. I just need to warm it up, it doesn't have to be hot. So, we'll see how this goes. And, uh, yeah, uh, hopefully this doesn't break. The only other dish I've got is a really big round one over here, 
I don't know if you can see it down here. So uh, give this a chance to warm up. Um, most of the acid I was able to save what save what was in the dish still. I poured it into there, and there was a lot of granules still, so they're in there as well. I might add just a touch more. Now I'm gonna, I don't need my gloves on for that because uh, I'm not touching it. But now I'm going to get my gloves on before I start working with the acid. New gloves. Currently the wind is blowing the fumes away from me. If the wind changes, I'll have to put on a respirator, I guess. Um, I've got a face shield. At the moment I'm not having any problems with anything flying up in my face. But because I'll be sitting down in the chair lower to, closer to this, I may find I'll need the face shield on. Um, it's better to take precautions with caustic soda. It's not very good stuff. It's nasty stuff. Yeah. If it clears drains and gets rid of all the muck in the drains, and that should tell you it's about as good as sulfuric acid. Well, you can probably see now the bubbles are starting to work as it dissolves. I'll just give that a few minutes and uh, hopefully it won't break. Well, the first board that I've started doing is the big brown one. And pleasantly surprised, I'm right. It's uh, all gold underneath. I'll, uh, I'll strip this bit off and then I'll bring it up closer and show you. I'd like a few more of these, a good sized board. It just peels off. Just gonna get it hot, let it soak for a bit, and then it just comes off so easy. So, so far, I'm right with the brown boards. I mean, it doesn't mean they're all gonna be like that. I've got a dish over here which I'm gonna use to put them in. Nice golden board all over both sides. So the golden ones will go in here and the ones that aren't will go in the bin. This one's a black board. It's looking like they're copper underneath, so I was wrong on this one, but that's okay. I'm sure there are some blackboards that are gold everywhere. I won't put this in the bin because it still does have some gold on it, but the majority of the board's copper. Got it going there. Toothbrush is falling apart because of the uh, caustic soda. We know the mouse boards are gold, mouse pads. As you can see here, needs a bit more of a soak, but that's coming off nicely. Yeah, they just need a bit longer, those ones. Well, so far, it seems to be uh, a lot of hit and miss. A bit of everything. So, I've got a mouse pad that's copper. A mouse pad that's gold. This mouse pad had white stuff on it, both sides, and underneath it's just copper. So I didn't bother scratching any more off. There is gold on there, but most of it's copper. Um, the long skinny brown boards, it did reveal the, the gold that was on there, but the still base metal is copper, a lot of copper on them. 
So, I mean, I was able to get to all that gold a lot better, but it's not fully gold plated. And I was able to eliminate all of those. All the skinny ones are all like that copper underneath. There's another gold plated board. Another mouse board, mouse pad, whatever you want to call them. Another long, skinny brown board. This was a ram, and it's mostly copper. It does reveal the gold, but it's mostly copper. So all the long, skinny brown ones I've given, gotten rid of. I'll put them over there. There's another mouse pad that's copper. Another brown board that's copper. Another brown board that just reveals the gold, but it's mostly copper. Another mouse pad that's gold. Another mouse pad that's copper. Brown board that's copper. It reveals the gold that was on there. So the brown boards don't seem to have any gold apart from what's on there. There's no extra gold plating anywhere except this real big one. I like this one. I've got another big brown board in there at the moment. I'm hoping that's going to be the same. See, there's a smaller one that's copper. Taking the mask off does reveal the gold more, but mostly copper. This was kind of black, shiny at the back and green on the front. Um, that was along the edge of a TV screen. And it's um, copper, there's gold in there. It shows all the gold now that the green's gone, but the base is copper. So that's it so far. Like I said, it's a bit of hit and miss. So we'll see what this big brown one does. Yep, yeah, copper. You see straight away a copper. No point in even wasting my time on it. So, you know, I fluked it with that other gold one there. Uh, I've got one more brown board here, which is similar size to that one. So I'm going to put that in and see if that's all gold. So far, I can't give you a definite answer which ones are always gold plated, because there's none that are always gold plated. Your best chance is with the mouse pads, because most of them are, but they've all got hit and miss. So uh, we'll see what happens after this, but yeah, it's not looking good for a definite answer yet. Well, I just started uh, scratching this one off, and this is also a nice gold plated board. So the bigger brown boards seem to be so far okay i mean i've only got the two so it's not really a conclusive answer but two out of two you know is uh i would like to say that perhaps most of the larger brown boards maybe not all of them but most of them would probably be gold both sides look nice We'll give it a wash in a minute and show you. Toothbrush is almost naked. Not many bristles left on it. Nice gold plated both sides. So it's a win-win for the bigger brown boards. What else have we got in here? Uh, another one of those green boards that was on the edge of a desktop screen, that's copper. What else is in here? Can't see now. Oh yeah, another mouse pad. That's another one of those long boards. This one looks like it's copper. Yep. That's it, time to put some more in. I better put all of these in. Well, most, yeah, probably, probably get them all in. Uh, 
and I'll let those sit and then that's it. So, in summary, I would say most mouse pads from laptops, I would say there's a pretty good chance that all the larger brown boards are gold plated. And nil for the longer, skinnier ones, they all seem to be copper. So, uh, there's bound to be other boards out there that I haven't tested. I can only go by the ones I've got. So, I would say if you're looking for a, the best chance of finding gold plated boards, it'll be the big brown ones and mouse pads. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.